Hello, this is Wallace, Poland's main toy dude, and today we are taking a look at something I probably should have done a long, long time ago. My first four toys from Transformers RPMs, aka robot powered machines. And the reason I should have done it before is because I believe it is you, my English speaking viewers who have boosted the original Polish video to the rank of one of my most popular videos. I have no idea why are you doing this, why, are, why do you enjoy watching this so much, but the fact is that the original Polish video, as of now, is over 600,000 view count. And that is just amazing for, well, for this. So I decided it's time to fix something and allow you to understand what I'm saying about these things. With that said, let us take a look at these. We have Ratchet, Bumblebee, Optimus Prime and Megatron. And the first thing you might see just from the frontal view is that these look quite nice, almost Hot Wheels like. And yes, it is my belief that these toys were designed as a countermeasure for Hot Wheels. Because, as we know, Hot Wheels is one very, very popular toy line and, unfortunately, it belongs to Mattel, not Hasbro. So, using the popularity of Transformers franchise, Hasbro decided to make an attempt to take part of demographic buying Hot Wheels and make it buy Transformers-related not Hot Wheels, such as these. And the result is, I admit, quite nice. As you can see with Bumblebee, these toys have very, very nice detailing for something that is about 3 inches long. We have translucent windows with no cockpit details at all. Autobot logos, very nice shiny paint, which is kind of like gold honey, kind of metallic, it really looks great. We have details. Chevy logo, lights, the thing. Very nice. Wheels, nothing here, and the back is something I'm going to show you later on. Ratchet is also quite nice. He has most of the details, come on focus, here we go. He has most of the details that you can connect to his larger versions, like the first movie Voyager. We have fire department, search and rescue, this red line thingy, this small search and rescue detail. It's really, really tiny and we can see the individual lines of the Autobot logo. That is just impressive. Again, no inner details. The front, also quite nice. The back, well, actually, I believe this is clear plastic here. This is something no transforming version of this toy has actually achieved, and they had several attempts at that. Here we have all the other details connected to Ratchet and Optimus Prime. Another very nice one. I think he and Bumblebee are my favorites. And yes, robbery, smokestacks. So if you're under age of five, you will not be able to kill yourself with these by stabbing it through your eye. Again, very nice details, very nice silver paint. The flame job and the tone change here on the front is really nice. This is something very few transforming versions of this toy actually complete. Nice wheel. More flames. Again, translucent blue plastic for the windows. No details inside. And this is also very nice. And finally, we have Megatron. The Revenge of the Fallen version, who's a tank, and I admit, the details on this are also quite nice. Oh, I will never get used to that. That's just ugly, but hey, that's just Megatron. The treads are very nicely done, and really, tons of tons of details. So, in terms of details, quality is quite similar to Hot Wheels. And this turret even spins 360. However, this turret has one little problem. It's made of soft rubber, so you don't stab yourself with it. Which I believe 
Okay, when you take it out like this, it's fully possible to take advantage of this as a makeshift weapon, but still, it will possibly bend a bit on individual pieces, so I'm not really a fan. But still, overall, the quality of these things as vehicles is quite nice. And just to compare it to actual Hot Wheels toys, my McDonald's, I believe, Batmobile from Happy Meal from time is long gone. So you can see size is quite similar. Of course, it will never be the same because even between Hot Wheels, this varies a lot. And here we have an actual transforming toy. Transformers Prime Legion class cliff jumper. Because I really, really did not want to use any of my Legend class bumblebees. So, size-wise, it could be a legend. And of course, something that I have to review in English as well. Hot Wheels DeLorean. And here you can actually see one tiny difference between these and Hot Wheels. Some Hot Wheels actually bother with cabin details. Something that RPMs have not yet evolved to, but who knows if the Speed Stars actually goes any further, they might correct it. So, this is not Hot Wheels, and the reason for this is, yeah, this does not transform, obviously, but these things have one more secret special mode that makes them stand out from Hot Wheels. And this is... <sighs> their undercarriage. And being a Transformers toy, what else, if not a representation of the robot mode? Oh, no. So, the good thing, we have this tiny little indication that this is in fact Bumblebee, who's also made in China, made by Hasbro, and this lithograph-like wannabe, which I admit does not look good at all. Okay, we have three colors, but the fact that they have to compress the design to fit to fit under this place, uh, and the fact that this is a quite cheap toy, even at retail, makes this something I find completely obsolete and completely useless for me as a fan of Transformer toys. Also, we have the Allegiance symbol, quite nice. But yeah, this is completely superfluous for me. And the sad thing is, they all have it. Uh, we have Optimus Prime and Megatron. This will be a good reminder for people who don't play with Transformer toys, or mostly. And uh, yeah, you can see that this is very compressed to fit. To fit. Okay, compared to like uh, capsule toys, gashapons, this is not so bad, but I still can't get used to it or get to like it. And look at Megatron, where has his arms? These spinning wheels are not his arms. This is just bad. Well, it, it has some nice details, but I just can't say I like it. And we have Ratchet. Ratchet. Yeah, I can say the overall quality possibly differs between them. Some are better than the others. Not really intentionally, but considering the space they have for the representation, that's just not always working out so well. And Hasbro decided that they want to stress this, f I don't know, function, feature, even more. And so you can represent these toys standing on their own. Just if you decide the vehicle modes, the primary function of this toy is not enough for you. Honestly, it just looks bad. It's really not my kind of thing and I can't really say I ever put them on my shelf, displayed like that. What I prefer to do is actually show them the way they should be. You can buy these things in several forms. At the time when they were still called RPMs, you could either buy them as single units or in versus packs. These all came independently for around, uh, I believe, four or five dollars. I'm not sure. I live in a different currency zone where these things had different costs and all. But overall, the question is, if these four or five dollars are worth spending on these things? And uh, my answer is yes and no. 
if you want to buy them for the entire functionality that is vehicle mode with something that is designed to kind of resemble robot mode, then no. If anyone looks for robot mode with these things, go buy an actual transforming toy, that's not worth it. However, if you have no real care for robot mode, and you just like nice good looking vehicles that have some resemblance to Transformers franchise, these are quite nice. I have actually four more of these, and some of them really look nice. And I believe in terms of stylization and overall look in vehicle modes, they can actually compete with Hot Wheels. Unless you are really, really into things like internal designs and features, then maybe not, but if you are looking for a good exterior, these things actually pass the test. So, what can I say? Buying them is entirely up to you. If you like good vehicle modes, then yes. If you want to have vehicle mode that has some good resemblance to robot mode, then no. That is, that's all for this review. I hope you liked it, it was informative for you, and we are going to see each other soon in another English review, because I plan to, how shall I say, normalize my channel, so for every Polish review, I want to have an English review existing. With that said, new English reviews coming soon. Until then, this has been Wallace, Poland's main toy dude. See you next time.